going to be using our towels as props on the various exercises that we do. So you can see with my mat there, I've just got my bath towel. I've folded it into one eighth. So it's sort of long and skinny and it gives a little bit of a padding and it's just in the middle of the mat there. So you guys can have yourself set up in the same way. And we're going to be starting in a seated position. So come and sit literally at the very front corner of your mat. So your bum, or sorry, on the corner of your towel. So your bum is gonna be quite near the edge and you can have your knees and feet slightly separated. Put your hands just around the fronts of your knees and we're going to use our arms to help ourselves for this first little section. So start by inhaling and lengthening the spine. Use your arms to help yourself grow tall. And then exhale as you round your spine just a little bit and let your head relax down. And we're going to inhale, grow nice and tall. Use your arms to help. And exhale, round your spine and feel that softening along the back of your body. Two more times, just breathing in. Breathing out through the mouth. Feel the abdominals gently flatten. And then one more time, inhale. Exhale, round your spine. And this time we're just gonna stay here. Overlap one hand on top of the other, or forearm on top of the other. And then rest your head onto your knees just for a moment. Find complete ease through the neck and shoulders. Allow your eyes to close and just start to focus on that lovely wide inhale across the back of your ribs. And as you exhale, feeling the ribs close and feeling that soft connection into the abdominals. And we're going to take two more nice wide inhale. And exhale. And just one more time, nice easy breath in. And feeling the exhale. And then just gently roll yourself back upright. Sitting up nice and tall, hooking your hands. We're gonna go a little bit further back this time. So we're going to inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, curl the spine under, and we're going to see if we can go back enough to straighten the elbows and almost get the feeling like you're hanging off your knees. It's a lovely release around the neck and the lower back. Take another breath in, and then exhale, bend the elbows, and help yourself come all the way up. Using your exhale as you curl the tailbone under, get the feeling of flattening the abdominals as you stretch back. Take a little breath and exhale, curl forward and lift up nice and tall. Two more times, using your breath to guide the movement and just getting that mobility through the spine. Using your exhale, curl forward and lift up. One more time, exhale, curl back. And this time we're gonna stay back here. So get yourself into just a comfortable stretch along your spine between the shoulder blades. And once again, just close your eyes and focus on your breathing. So as you inhale, Noticing the opening along the back of your ribs. And as you exhale, feel the abdominals gently connecting. And if this isn't a comfortable position for you, then maybe just come up a little bit higher so that there's no strain in your body whatsoever. Just allowing your breath in and out to help you release here. And one more time. Feeling how the exhale connects your core, opening your eyes, and then bend the elbows 
and pulling yourself all the way up to sit up nice and tall. Now you're going to bring your arms out so there's no more support from your hands. Take a breath in. Exhale. Let's go all the way down onto our backs. Coming all the way down, feeling how each vertebra places itself and you can rest all the way down. Now, if you feel that your head has gone off the end of the towel, you can either wiggle down a bit so your spine and your head are completely there or just put a little pillow underneath your head so you've got a little bit of support. Bringing your feet a little bit closer in towards you and then just feel how your spine lines up along the towel. Palms down or palms up, we're ready to go into a pelvic curl. So on your breath, start with a little tilt of the hips and rolling your pelvis up towards the sky. Stay here for a moment, take a little breath in, and then start to ripple down through the spine and feeling your spine line up along the towel and then settle back to neutral. And we go again, articulating through the spine, getting that lovely lift from the base of your pelvis. Take a moment to feel that opening along the front of your hip and then start to ripple down through the spine, softening through the neck, the upper back, the lower back and release. And we're going to do two more, a little bit of a tilt of the hips. Rolling up, getting that lovely release along the front line of your body. And as you come down, soften through the front of the throat, over the lungs and the heart, over your belly, and your pelvis settles. And on this last one, we're going to stay up there just for a moment. Rolling up through the spine, lifting up, and you hold it here. You're going to start doing a little push away from yourself with your feet. Not too hard. You don't want to come off your mat or off your towel. And then I want you to do a little bit of a pull with your feet towards your shoulders and your pelvis. And again, as you push away with your feet, can you feel how the quadriceps switch on? And then pull with your feet slightly, and can you feel the hamstrings engage? And then settle in the center, take a little breath, and you get to ripple down through the spine, imprint into the lower back, and releasing at the bottom. From here, bringing both hands up towards the sky, turn the palms of your hands to face each other, and let's start to scissor the arms. And as you do this arm movement, you're coordinating the two sides, making sure that you're not resting your arms at any point on the ground. And even though it's not much of a lift, can you feel with the towel underneath your spine, that you're slightly elevated off the ground and you have just a little bit more range of movement than we normally do when we're lying flat on the mat. Just see if you can use that extra little bit of range of movement to increase your stretch today. Feel your scapula gliding. Let's take two more. One more, and then bring both hands all the way up towards the sky. Interlock your fingers, hands go underneath your head, and then settle your head down, and maybe just do a little bit of a wiggle of your ribs from side to side so that you create a little bit of length along the spine. Stay here for a moment and walk the knees and the feet together. So now you've got a little bit of an inner thigh connection here. Float the elbows up slightly, get your lower back in a happy place and then stabilize your pelvis. Inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, slide your rib cage forward, come up into your chest lift. And then inhale to let yourself 
come down. And again, exhale, slide the ribs forward. Get the feeling of flattening the abdominals and releasing back, letting your head settle. Don't let the elbows drop. And again, as you continue with your chest lift, start to notice the feedback that you are getting from having the towel underneath your spine today. Can you perhaps notice that there's a rolling action of your spine, your upper spine up and down? Do you perhaps notice that you've got a little bit of additional support and padding underneath your lumbar spine and how does that feel for your body? Let's take just two more. Slide the ribs forward. And a little release. And we're going to take just one more time. Sliding the ribs forward. And release. Stay here. And then just allow your elbows to press back. So let your ribs relax, let the front of your shoulders relax, maybe move your lower back if you need to. But again, just with a slight lift underneath the thoracic spine, you might feel that this is quite a lovely opening for your upper body at the front. And then on your next breath, just put your hands out and bring both hands straight up towards the sky. And I want you to go into a slight tilt of the pelvis so you feel an imprint of your lumbar spine onto that towel underneath you and let your pelvis come back to neutral. Do two more like that. Exhale, feel the little tilt of your pelvis and a release. And then one more time, a little bit of a tilt of the pelvis. Now I'm gonna ask you to stay in this tilted pelvis position. Lower abs are engaged. Pick up your right knee, hold it in the air. Pick up your left knee to join it and you have a tucked pelvis as you hold your legs in the air. Let's start to tap one foot down and then switch to the other side. So as you alternate your legs, Oftentimes we do this exercise in a neutral pelvis position. Today we've gone into a tilted pelvis and can you feel how much more your lower abdominals have to work? And this is quite lovely with the towel underneath you again that you can really feel that imprint of your lumbar spine. Keep it going. So we're bringing in a lot of that open chain work that we've been working on. Last one, lift both legs up, hands to knees, and hug your knees all the way in. And then you can rock a little bit from side to side. Just stay on your towel, don't roll off the towel. And come back to the center. Now, slip your hands behind your thighs. We're gonna do our slow, roll up. Some of you have done this with me before. Start moving your thighs away from your chest until your elbows are straight. So there's a bit of pressure of your legs into your hands, not your chin. And as you come up into a rounded spine position, you can feel that your body weight starts to pour forward. Keep pouring your body weight into your feet until your feet touch the mat and then you can come forward. It doesn't matter if you go off your towel, because when you go back now, start rolling back until your elbows are straight. And then lift your heels and start transferring your body weight back towards your head, and then just rest down and let your knees come in towards you. So that's the movement, and you're gonna keep going at your own pace now. Moving your legs away, Turn in and use your breath out to pour your body weight to your feet. Curl forward, head to knee. And then roll back. It's quite lovely having this padding underneath your spine 
especially if you have a slightly harder surface that you're working on, like a yoga mat. It's lovely to have this padding. Let's do one more time to curl up. Exhale. And rolling forward. And then simply coming all the way up into a seated position. So you can just bring that towel around and fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So it's quite small and thick. And then you're going to have it in the middle of your mat, sit back and go up on top of that little bolster that you have created. So your legs are going to be out nice and straight, okay, legs together. And then I want you to pick up your right thigh, cross that right foot over, and then place your fingertips, because now you're lifted, so you can only put your fingertips behind you, that's your right hand. Reach the left hand up, and then start coming into a little bit of a twist. Hooking the elbow, lengthen up through the spine, and then start guiding yourself to look over the right shoulder. And for a lot of us, it's so much easier to go into this twist when you're sitting up on a bolster cushion because it frees up the lumbar spine. Stay with your breath. Still make sure that you've got equal pressure onto those two sit bones. Take a nice, easy breath in. And exhale. Unwind. You can uncross that right leg. Stretch it out. And then your left leg goes over. Stand on that left foot. Left fingertips onto the ground. Reach the right hand up. And coming into your gentle twist. Looking over the left shoulder. And just keep it nice and easy, nothing crazy. Finding a little bit of length and height in your spine. And then take a nice easy breath in. And exhale, release, unwind, and uncross that left leg. Bringing both legs out in front of you. Now, when you're sitting on this bolster, you might be able to straighten your legs, or if you're still feeling tight, just bend the knees a little bit. Bring the arms just out to the side, lengthening up through the spine, energy out through the heels of the feet, and squeeze your legs together. On your breath out, let's do a little twist towards the right. Stay there for a moment. Do you still have your legs in line, and do you have your chin in line with your breastbone? and with your elbows still wide. And then come back to the center. And now twist to the left. Legs in line, chin in line with breastbone, elbows wide. Come back to the center, grow tall. And we move seamlessly, single breath. Inhale, center. Single breath. Inhale, center. Two more. Not too big a rotation. Keep it controlled and keep it precise. One more. And center, hold it. And relaxing all the way down. Stay as you are. Just pivot your feet so that you're going to have your right shin to the side and your left shin in front of you. So you're in your lovely mermaid seat that we often do. And we're just going to go from side to side here. A little bit of a seaweed action. And especially after doing that seated spine twist, you might feel that your lower back and your obliques need a little bit of releasing here. Let's take two more. One more. So now you're gonna put your left hand on the floor as you reach to the side and then just come all the way up. So you've got your left hand on the ground and your right hand reaching up. Turn your right hand palm up. Start reaching the arm back as you inhale, open the front arm line and exhale, round your spine and bringing your hand towards the left hand that's on the floor. And again, we inhale. And 
We exhale, rounding the spine. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. And now just come back to the center and sitting all the way up. Switch your legs around. So you're now going to bring your right shin to the front and your left shin to the side. Make sure that you still feel that you are in a comfortable seat. And we're going to go a little bit from side to side. Just a soft seaweed action, not forcing it at all. And let's just do one more time each way. So now you're going to end up with your right hand onto the floor. And then just straighten up both your arms. Turn the top hand to the palm is up. Start reaching your arm back. Inhale. And then exhale, bringing your left hand towards the right hand on the floor. And again, we inhale. Beautiful opening across the chest and the heart. And exhale, and that beautiful opening across the back of the body. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. And just coming back to the center. And sitting upright. So just bringing your feet out in front of you. Lift your hips up so you can slide your little towel out. We're going to unfold it so that it's long. And then we're just going to roll it into a little sausage shape like this. And we're going to place it just underneath the knees. So there's just a tiny, tiny lift of the knees right here. Legs are slightly apart. You're going to lean back as if you are sitting on the beach. And all we're going to do here is flex the right ankle and then you're going to lift the right heel up so that you can squeeze the right thigh. Your knee is still supported on the towel, your pelvis is still level, and then let your right heel come down and relax the foot forward. Now do the left leg. So you curl the left toes up, and then lift your left heel off the ground and get that squeeze in the quadriceps. Pelvis is level, let your heel come down, and then relax the foot. So we're gonna go again. Right toes peel back. Squeeze your thigh muscle so that the heels come up. And then lower the heel and release. One more time on the left leg, curl the toes. Squeeze your thigh muscles. And then lower the heel and release. Now we're gonna do a little add on. Keep sitting up straight, abs are connected. Right toes curl up. Squeeze your right thigh muscle, now stay there. Tighten up your abs. Can you hover that right leg just up off the towel? Doesn't have to be a high lift. Lower the knee down, and then release the heel and relax the toes. Left toes peel up. Squeezing the thigh muscle. Abs, see if you can lift the knee off the towel. Control the movement, it doesn't have to be big, it has to be controlled. Lower the knee, release the heel, release the foot. Let's do that again. Lift the toes, squeeze the quadricep. Lift the leg, which means you are now using your hip flexors and abdominals. And lower, release, relax the foot. And the left foot, peel it back, squeeze the thigh muscle, your quadricep, lift the leg up. There's the hip flexors and abs. Lower the leg and release and relax. Now, if that's a challenge, stay here. But if you want to increase the workload, why don't you sit up nice and tall with your arms to the side? There's a challenge, eh? You're going to peel the right toes up. Squeeze your quadriceps muscle. And now can you lift the leg? Lower and release. 
release. One more time on the left leg. Peel the toes. Put your hands down if you need to. Squeeze your thigh muscle. Can you lift the leg? Keep sitting up nice and tall. And release. Lower. And relax. Nicely done, guys. Bend your knees for a moment. Just relax your spine forward because you might be feeling a little bit of workload into the lower back. And that's because that hip flexor muscle connects into the lower back as well. So just stay here for a moment and allowing yourself to breathe. And then exhale, just rolling up into a seated position. So now taking your towel, you're going to keep it in that little sausage shape. And you can move your legs a little bit away from you. You can take them a little bit wider. You want to be as comfortable as possible. And we're just going to start inhaling to lift the towel up above the shoulders. And then exhale and releasing it down. And we're going to go again. Taking a breath in, reaching up. And exhale, bring it down. And see if you can start going a little bit further back. So you're actually going to take the towel maybe a little bit behind you to open the front of the shoulders and chest a bit more. And release. Are we going to do two more like this? Lifting up, getting that lovely stretch. And release. And just one more time, getting a little bit of a stretch. And releasing all the way forward. Now taking that towel and move it behind you. And you're going to turn your hands so that your palms are facing forward and grab onto the towel. And then all you're going to do, I'm going to see if I can turn this way. You're going to simply stretch the arms back and releasing it down. And again, stretch the arms back and release. So it might be quite a small lift, but what you're getting a little bit of a stretch here is into the front of the shoulder and there's a little muscle there called the pec minor. And release, let's do one more time, just like this. And release, now stay here. Turn your left hand the other way around and grab onto the towel and then simply walk the towel out and you're going to pull yourself into just a little bit of a shoulder stretch and then you can tip your head towards the right and do a little release. And again, tip your head towards the right. So you're getting a little bit of a stretch into the left shoulder and because you've turned the left hand the other way, you're getting a stretch into the rotator cuff, into the internal shoulder rotators. We're going to do one more time. And release, let go. And then just slide the towel back to the center. Now you're going to turn right hand in, left hand out, slide it across. And then just pick up the towel and pull gently on the towel so that you are drawing yourself into a little bit of a shoulder stretch now on the right side. And then you're going to do a little tilt with your head to the left and a little release. And again, a little tilt. And release. And by the way, guys, if you need to move your leg position, feel free to adjust what you need. Taking two more, keep breathing. Taking one more. And release and slide and bring it all the way there. So I'm just turning so that I'm sideways again. And now what I'd like you to do is to stretch your legs out as straight as possible, toes lifted up and now your legs are separated to the width of the mat. Take your sausage towel, and we're just going to be holding onto the ends of the towel so that the arms are out in front of you. Lengthen your spine, bend your knees if you need to. Imagine you have a wall under, behind your back. On your breath, peel yourself away from the wall, starting from the head and then the upper back, 
And you want to get a feeling that you're reaching the towel over your feet. Don't drop your hands down. And then it's that long stretch over. Take a little breath in here. And then breathe out as you unravel. And the thing all the way up and tall. Keep pulling gently wide with your hands. Nod your chin, peeling away from the wall behind you. Keeping the towel suspended, so you'll probably notice that there's a bit of workload holding the towel. And then rolling back up, lifting up tall. We're going to do one more time. And again, nod the chin. Peeling forward through the spine and then unravel, coming all the way up and lifting tall. Good. Now you're going to place the towel down, just unroll it so that it's back into its little one-eighth position right here. And you're going to now place it horizontally across your mat so that you can flip onto your stomach and get the towel underneath your pelvis. So I feel like I need to go back a little bit. So you should feel like there's quite nice padding underneath the pelvis here. So placing your hands just on hide, either on the mat or slightly wider, cover the top of the nose, have your legs slightly apart, and just engage the bum cheek slightly. Feel how your pelvis is anchored on the towel. And we're ready to go into a cobra here. So we're going to inhale to come up. Little baby cobra. And then it's an exhale as we allow ourselves to release back down. And again, inhale, lifting up. Lifting up through the heart, keeping the two little ribs down, and exhale and release. And we're going to do one more time, breathing in, lifting just up through the chest, and exhale and release. Stay there for a moment. If you need to move the towel or your pelvis, feel free to do so. We're going to add on now. So you're going to inhale as you come up into a little baby cobra, and then exhale to stay there and feel the scapula gently squeeze together. Now, anchor your pelvis on the towel and see if you can lift your knees up so you're squeezing your thigh muscles like we did earlier. And then I want you to pick up the right leg, anchor your pelvis on the towel, don't let yourself roll, and bringing that leg back down. Keep your heart lifted, and now the left leg. And release, stay there, lower your chest, and hover the tip of your nose. You can relax your thighs if you like. And again, inhale, come up to baby cobra, and exhale to stay there, squeezing your thigh muscles. And now the right leg lifts up, and lower, left leg lifts up, and lower, keeping your heart lifted, release your chest and allow your knees to come down. We're going to add on here, lifting up, inhale, baby cobra, exhale, stay there, and squeezing the thigh muscles. Now can you lift both legs at the same time? And lower the legs. And again, lift the legs. Lower the legs, stay. And release the chest and relax. We're gonna do one more set, adding on. Inhale, lifting into baby cobra. Exhale, stay there and squeezing the quadriceps muscles. Now lifting both legs up, hold it there. See if you can pick up. Right arm, take it down, pick up left arm, take it down, how about both arms? Take them down, lower your legs, lower your chest, and relax. Good. 
Take your hands under your shoulders. Push yourself all the way up. And now you're going to settle into a resting position. I want you to just fold your towel so that it's giving you some nice support. And you can either put it underneath your legs if you have knee issues, or you can put it underneath your forehead if you want a little bit of support underneath your head. And then just put your arms wherever feels good for you. Getting that little bit of a curve in your spine. An opportunity to just release out those back extensor muscles that have been working. Nice wide inhale, soft exhale. Taking one more breath in and out. And then making your way up onto all fours. You're just going to take the towel wherever it is and unfold it again. And then put your knees on top of the towel. So you've got some padding for your knees here. Bringing yourself into a four point position, getting your wrist set up underneath your shoulders, nice long spine, and coming into a cat stretch, start curling your tail under, pressing out of your hands, and then start sitting your hips back towards your heels. Stay here for a moment as you just enjoy that release along the sacrum, and then coming forward, and only come back to a neutral position. Balance on your right hand, reach the left hand to the side. Coming into a thread the needle, but we're not staying here today. We come back up, reaching the left hand out and placing the left hand down. Right hand reaches. Coming into a thread the needle, we're not staying here. We're reaching the right hand out to the side and bringing the hand in. Cat stretch, rounding the spine. Moving your hips back. Stay just for a moment. Come forward. Lengthen the spine to neutral. This time, taking the right hand to the side and thread the needle. We're not staying, just find your rotation and up you come, reach. Placing the hand down and left hand. Thread the needle. Coming back up. Placing hands down last time and cat stretch. Stay here just for a moment, or you can add a little trampolining. Soft movement, gentle rhythm, allowing that release into the sacrum. One more time, and come forward and lengthen the spine. You're going to just move back, taking your towel, fold it once again into quite a short, thick little prop. And that is now going to go between your knees, just a little bit off the mat. And once again, set yourself up, wrist below shoulders, and tuck your toes under on the ground. I want you to find a squeeze with your inner thigh so that you're not going to drop the towel and start to lift your knees and the towel off the mat. So in this four point hover position, you can feel the connection all the way from the inner thigh muscles leading up through that deep midline of the body, connecting into pelvic floor, Connecting all the way around those deep core muscles up to the diaphragm and into the deep neck muscles. 
Stay here for three, two, one. Releasing the knees down, relaxing the feet out, and then just allow yourself to come up. And you're now going to just unfold, unfold, and once again, make a little bit of a sausage with your towel. So you're going to now have that sausage towards the back end of your mat so that you can sit near the front of the mat with your knees bent and you're going to help yourself with your hands as you lie back and you want to get that sausage just sort of below the shoulder blades, just underneath the shoulder blades, nice and wide, so that when you lean back, you're actually going into a little bit of extension of the spine. If you need a cushion under your head here, please put a cushion under your head and then adjust your foot position and your lower spine position so it feels good for you. Both arms reach up towards the sky. And now we inhale to open the arms wide. Exhale, bringing the arms up, connecting the tips of the fingers to each other. And again, we breathe in. So you are in a passive back extension. Your chest <coughs> is opening. You can feel probably quite a strong release around the upper abdominals. And let's just take one more time, breathing in. And exhale, lifting the arms up. Now interlock your fingers, place your hands underneath your head and just let your head rest back. Make any adjustments that you need to your position. And in particular, make sure that your lower back feels good. So I have a tendency to work in a little bit of a tilt of the pelvis here because it feels that it releases my lower back slightly. You're going to nod the chin and on your breath, come up into a chest lift and can you feel that there's a wonderful opportunity to almost press back into the towel a bit, the towel is supporting you here. And then when you lower yourself back, you're going to go into a gentle back extension. So you've got to have quite a bit of control with the abdominals there. Nod your chin, breathe out as you curl forward, slide the ribs forward, find the support behind your back, move the towel if you need to, and then release back with control. This is eccentric control of those abs. We're going to do two more. Breathe, get the flattening of the abdominals. Take a little inhale and release. And we're going to take just one more time. Nod the chin, curl it forward. Take a little breath in and then exhale and releasing back. Slide your hands out, placing your arms just down beside you on the fingertips. You're going to lift your hips up, coming onto your shoulders so that you can actually slide the towel down and slide it out to the side and then roll down. If that doesn't feel good on your neck, then you can just roll to the side as well. Now, I'm gonna keep my towel in the same sausage but if you want a longer towel, then just open it up completely. You're going to loop the towel over your right foot, holding on to the end of it here. And we're gonna go into our little release of the hamstrings. So it's an exhale to extend. And inhale, release. And again, exhale. And release. And taking just a few more. One more time. And release. So you can switch over to the other side. Step your left foot into the towel, bringing the right foot down. 
And when you're ready, extend. And release. Last two. Last one. And release. Unhook. And you can simply take your towel, unfold it, and once again, fold it so that it is that short, thick prop. And you're going to place it once again between the knees. So take your hands, place them onto your lower belly, and just settle your lower back so that it feels comfortable. And then wherever that place is, I want you to stabilize. On your breath out, start to squeeze your knees onto the towel, and inhale, release. So remember we did this yesterday as well because those inner thigh muscles, the adductors, are really important stabilizing muscles for the pelvis. They connect up onto the pubic bone. So for a lot of us, we might feel that these muscles need a bit of attention, either for stretching them or strengthening them or both. The important thing here is that as you squeeze and release the towel, that there's no tipping of your pelvis. Keep your pelvis nice and stable wherever it is. We're going to do three more. And release. Two more, squeeze. And release. One more time. Squeeze and release. You can slip the towel out. Just rest it on your tummy for a second. Make your knees open out into a reclined butterfly so you get a little bit of a stretch into the inner thighs. Maybe do a little bit of a rocking action of the legs a little side to side. And then Slowly bring your knees all the way up together. You're going to stand on those feet. And now unfold your towel. And you can either keep it sort of fairly thick or you can unfold it again. But you're going to slide it now underneath the lumbar spine. So you should feel that you've got a nice support into the lower back right here. And you're then going to extend the legs out nice and long. So if it feels like it's too much of an arch, then unfold the towel. But we're going to be going into a roll up. And I want you to feel what it's like to have that support underneath your lumbar spine. So bring your legs together. You can point your toes or flex, it doesn't matter. Hands go up towards the ceiling. And then how far back can you take your arms without letting the rib cage pop? Here we go. Lift your arms, lift your head. As you breathe out, feel the imprint of your lower back into the towel and feel how it almost helps roll you forward. Stop with your nose just above your pubic bone. You can move the towel if you need. And then exhale and back we go. Feel each vertebra imprint and release the arms back. And again, lifting arms, lifting head, breathe. If it feels like the towel is too thick, then please just unfold it. No big deal. Okay, take a breath in. And exhale, back you go. You're still going to feel that imprint onto the towel. And releasing back. Last two, lifting arms, lifting head, connecting into your breath. Feel the articulation of the lumbar spine. Take a little breath in. And exhale. Reaching back. One more time, lift arms, 
strong connection to that exhale. And this time, just let your hands rest on your knees, your shin, your ankles, and come all the way forward into your stretch. Take a breath in, and then unravel your spine and lift it all the way up and tall. Turn to lie on your right side and unfold. If you haven't unfolded your towel already, unfold it and place it lengthways like this one is right here. And you're going to lie with your side of your hip on the towel so you actually have a little bit of padding. Resting your head all the way down, stretching your legs out nice and long, fingertips on the floor. Take a moment to lift your chin, shoulders down. You have a little bit of connection to that underneath oblique and keeping your inner thighs squeezed together. On your breath, start lifting your legs up and feel where your hip is on the towel if you're going to need to move it or not and then lower the legs down. Make any adjustments you need. And on your breath, lifting the legs up and feel that shortening into the top oblique and inhale, release. Now keep it going. If you are taking any strain in your neck, either find a pressure point on your neck that you can dig in with the right fingertips or just simply turn the tip of your nose down to release those neck muscles for yourself. Keep breathing. We're going to take just a few more here. And two more. Last one. Lifting both legs up. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a challenge today. If you can, lift your left arm up. If you're losing your balance, just put it down again. Take your bottom leg down and squeeze it up again. Lower the bottom leg and squeeze it up again. Good, now keep it going. You still have a connection to the top oblique and we are now moving some focus to the top inner thigh and squeeze. Last two. Last one, hold it there, placing your fingertips down and lower it. Now, you're going to start lifting the top leg up, stay there for a moment, double check that you haven't released the underneath oblique. And now if you can, place your hand into your lower back. So it's gonna challenge your balance a little bit. You're going to lower the leg and lift the leg. Lower the leg and lift the leg. Start focusing on those little side bum muscles, the gluteus medius. Last two. Last one. And releasing it down. Bringing that hand all the way out. You're simply going to roll onto the other side. So we're going to now be lying on the left hip. Line yourself up along your towel. Legs extended out nice and long. Placing the fingertips to the floor. Chin up, shoulders down. And legs are together as you start to lift and lower. So if you need to make any adjustments of your placement on the towel, then please do so. But you want to feel that you've got the padding underneath your hip. So especially for people that have quite prominent um, femur, this top part of the femur is called the greater trochanter. And for some people, it's quite visible and very prominent. And this is a really lovely way to give a bit of extra padding. Keep your focus on the obliques. And remember, if you need to adjust your head position or use your finger to find some pressure points, then do so. Last one. 
Last two. Last one. Lifting your legs and holding it there. Now test your balance and see if you can lift the arm and then you can keep it there or not. And the bottom leg now is going to start lifting and lowering. Keep reaching through the crown of your head, reaching through the fingertips, reaching through your toes. Create some space. Taking just a few more. Almost there. Keeping the obliques connected. Lift up and hold it. Put your fingertips to the ground and then lower your legs. On your breath, pick up the top leg and just stabilize there. Double check that the underneath oblique hasn't released. And then if you would like, pick up your right hand and woo, place it into your lower back. And now we start to move from here. Lift and lower. Focusing on those little side bum muscles, the gluteus medius. And remember, it doesn't have to be a high lift. It has to be a precise, focused lift. Taking three more. Last two. Last one. And release and slipping that hand all the way out. Take a moment to turn onto your back. And just letting the towel now not come into the lower back, but to let it rest underneath your pelvis so that as you bring your knees up towards your chest, you can feel almost like your pelvis is getting tipped back slightly. And then crossing left thigh over the right thigh, coming into that piriformis stretch, sliding your hands down the ankles, and allowing the towel to almost tip your pelvis a little bit, letting it support you there so that you're not having to strain. And again, if you need a pillow underneath your head now, that's absolutely fine as well. And then release, uncross, bringing the right thigh over the left thigh, and coming into that deep gluteal stretch. And then release, hug both knees towards your chest for a second. Placing your feet down, just lift your hips up enough that you can slide the towel out. And once again, you're going to fold it into that thick crop. And you're just going to hold it in your hands, have your knees bent with your feet on the floor, and then just lift your pelvis enough that you can slip it underneath your sacrum so it's not in your lower back. It's a little bit lower down under the pelvis and you should feel that you're able to relax completely onto it. Now, I like to take my feet wide and drop my knees together, but you can do whatever you want and bring your hands just out to the side with your palms facing up. Find a little bit of a nod with your chin so that you get a bit of length along the back of your neck. And then either close your eyes completely or just allow your gaze to soften. And we're just taking the last few minutes of class today to allow your body to be in a supported bridge.
and finding your pelvis and your lower back completely at ease. Bring your awareness to each inhale and each exhale as it moves through your body. Start to notice the places where you can let go. Allowing yourself to soften across your lungs and your heart. Find a gentle softening into the belly. And notice how your belly has an opportunity to respond to each breath. And taking one more breath in and out in this place. Slowly allow your eyes to blink open. Separate your knees a little bit, bringing your feet a little closer, rooting into the feet firmly. And then just lift your hips up enough that you can slide the towel out. Just rest it on the mat beside you. Let your hips come all the way down. And then stay there for a moment and just observe the release along your body once we've done that supported bridge. Taking your time as you hug one knee to your chest. Bring your other knee in to join. Maybe a little bit of a rocking from side to side. Bring a little bit of energy and awareness back into the sacrum. And then slip your hands behind your knees. Curl your head forward. So you're tucking yourself into a tight little ball shape. And then just do a few little kicks with your legs and with your feet. And come up so you can balance and placing your feet down. And then we're going to just sit up on top of our little block, our prop, bending the knees in front of you, hands on your knees, maybe do a little bit of a side to side movement, maybe do a little bit of a twist. Coming all the way back to the center and palms facing up. We inhale, sweep the air out and away from yourself, bringing the fingertips to touch and exhale, create a little bit of space for yourself, opening the arms wide, rolling the shoulders back and around. Fabulous guys. I hope you enjoyed. Amazing what you can do with the bath towel. Let me come and just turn on the sound for a second. Let me know if you've got any questions.